Hey guys, Martin King here, your Process Chiller Pro. In this episode, I'm gonna be covering evaporator ice ups. I'm gonna be going through a real life scenario that happened to me on a medium sized brewery. This scenario does happen in the field where intermittently your evaporator ice is up and it's super frustrating when you're dealing with this because it can be very intermittent and by the time you show up, the ice is gone. So you really, you really don't know what happened. So in a lot of cases, the technicians just show up out there as I did just to get the chiller up and running again, which in this case was just a reset of a low pressure trip. Also could be a reset of a low flow trip, but nonetheless, the, the chillers back up, but you never really address the problem. So in this particular scenario, I did get an opportunity to come back on another day after the chiller had been up and running and do some more diagnostics to find out what the heck was going on with this thing. So I'm going to run you through a set of diagnostic scenarios that you can apply in the field to hopefully quickly get to a solution for your customer so they're not plagued with this issue. Because as you know, a brewery is a mission critical class system. So if it goes down, if that chiller's offline, they're not controlling their fermentation, which means they could lose product and they're not uh, processing product because they need these chillers for a lot of different things within the brewery process. So this is a really important thing to understand. Now, as you may know, we only post our complete episodes on the processchilleracademy.com website. So on this post, either above me, below me, or however the whatever platform you're in, you will see two links. One will take you directly on a jump over to this episode where you can check it out in video format as well as audio only. If you're driving around your service truck, make sure to be safe, right? I'm going to do my best because I'm going to be putting things on the screen for this episode, but I'm going to try and explain what I'm looking at here so you're not totally lost while you're driving around listening to the audio. But if you find the content in interesting listening audio only, Schedule some time to check out the video portion because I think it'll really help close the deal with helping you with the, the skills you need to resolve these kinds of issues. The second link you're going to find is to the processchilleracademy.com website resource page. There's a lot of cool stuff on here. We're adding stuff all the time. Right now we have a free five-day skilled trade success program that we're offering a there's signups right now we're developing developing an email course that will help you dramatically speed up the trajectory of your career and it's a, it's a process that I've used for 25 years now and I think you'll really get some advantages to it so as soon as that episode comes out if you fill out the form you will get an email alert saying hey uh, you've been uh, here it is here's here's your first uh, first session of that course five day course also on the page, there's books in here that I recommend. Uh, keep in mind, full disclosure, these books are in here part of the Amazon's affiliate program, so we get a little kickback, help support the show. And then on the bottom of the page, we have links to some very popular HVAC-related podcasts I highly recommend. I know a lot of these hosts. I've been guests on some of these host shows. And it's, uh, they put out really good content. So I've already vetted that stuff for you. So if you want to learn while you're driving around, instead of listening to the deluge of commercials on the radio, it's a real smart use of your time. All right. Thanks again. Oh, one last thing before you go. And I know you've been asked this a million times. You're probably getting sick of hearing it. But it does matter if you hit like when you jump over, before you jump over to our site, because it does tweak the algorithms and allows us to get the word out to more people. So it's very helpful if you like our content. Thanks again. I will talk to you soon. Super excited to have you part of the Process Chiller Pro community. And let's keep the conversation going. If there's anything I can help you with, make sure to send me a message on LinkedIn is the best place and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.